The doorway effect is a psychological phenomenon that happens when you're walking through a doorway and... What was I doing? Forgetting what you were intending to do or what you were thinking about after crossing a boundary is a regular type of short-term memory loss that most people experience from time to time. It can happen when you cross a literal boundary, like going from one room to another. Or it can happen when you go through a figurative boundary, like going from one browser window to another. In 2006, scientists at the University of Notre Dame ran an interesting study on this effect. What they did is they had undergrad participants play a video game where they grabbed variously shaped different colored objects from a table in a virtual room. As soon as they picked up the object, it would disappear into their video game inventory so it couldn't be seen by the player anymore. Then they would drop off the object on another table, even at the end of a large room or equidistant in another room. And from time to time, they would quiz the participants about what was in their virtual backpack. And the responses were both slower and less accurate when they had walked into another room. Later on, they ran the same experiment using 17-inch CRT TVs instead of the 66 flat-inch TVs they had used in the earlier experiment and found the same effect. Then they found that the participants were doorway affected even in a real version where they placed objects in a shoebox when they were moving the objects from table to table. It's thought to be a super common experience because of how our memory works. Instead of forming a consistent stream of memories that start from the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep, we compartmentalize and segment them into specific events and episodes. And this kind of memory, the memory of everyday events, is called episodic memory. We tend to organize memories by contextual things, like when it happened or where it happened. So it's not something to worry about, it's not a sign of dementia or nothing. It's just a consequence of how the brain tells stories and collapses and gets rid of those stories in order to get ready for and make room for the next stories.